So my golf cart quit running and uh, first assumption was that's a solenoid because it's not clicking, it's not kicking in. And so I took my solenoids off. Here, here's the old one. I already bought a new one and mounted it back to the plate. And I thought, well, how do you test them? Uh, these are 36 volt solenoids. So that means if you put 36 volts right here, you're going to get high power from here to there from your batteries to your a motor. It's pretty simple stuff. There's many wires on here. I wondered lots of things when I'm taking these on and off why there's a resistor here uh, between these two high power posts. I'm thinking like, you shouldn't do that. Uh, apparently that's so that it doesn't arc as bad. It's a high high resistance, I assume, small wire. Anyway, that's a whole other subject. So this video is basically about how to test your solenoid. You could put a voltmeter on here and but unless it's a dead circuit like completely shorted you're not going to put a voltmeter on here this is either on or off this is either on or off there's two pl there's a plunger there's plates i'm not sure exactly what's inside there but it's not electronics it's either on or off um so how do you test it you make sure it's clicking on or off uh i could have gotten the 36 volts from the battery but that would have required using jumper cables and stuff and that wouldn't have been too hard look how easy this is I tried a 12 volt battery, but it didn't quite click. This thing's a toaster. It's delivering about 36 volts. That's my charger. It just so happened that the charger is about the same size as that. That's the old one. Definitely stronger, definitely weaker. I'm going to go ahead and put in the new one. I don't like this thing running when it's not being used. So yeah, that's one thing. Um, it turns out that my no click, you know, my golf cart quit running because it wasn't clicking when I pressed the pedal and it wasn't going. I actually found a burnt wire. I thought for sure that was the problem. I thought for sure that was the problem. It turns out the problem is the micro switch right there. I can't do it with two hands, but if I was to move that, um, kind of that, that brush or whatever you call it out of the way, I could reach my hand in there and it's, it's, uh, it's not working. It uh, sounds, it's not even moving, not, not clicking. So the no click, when I press the pedal, I'm used to hearing the one click here. And then the stronger click over there where my solenoid is mounted. Anyway, this has been a personal struggle of mine uh, for the last couple of days. It's nice to get to know your golf cart and not just be an innocent rider who's victim to how the thing works or not. I like knowing if my golf cart's good. I just bought this golf cart. I probably paid too much. It's got mirrors. It's got lights. It's $3,000. But... The batteries are good and everything else is good. They just had a micro switch go out. And you know what? That's four bucks. But it's also a day of my life to figure it out. I'm just glad I don't have the resistor carts with all the coils back in here and there. Because I'd be taking those things out if I did. This is a 93 club car. So it was past, I think 90 was the cutoff point for that apparently. But the people who have those old toaster golf carts, uh, resistor golf carts... Uh, they're switching over. I think my mom has one. I'm going to have to get her up to date. When I bought these switches, it was cheaper to buy a bunch.